Let's try another book. Do any of you ever feel like this? Like a grumpy monkey? Ooh, he has a really grumpy face. And it says he's having a very bad day. So let's read why he's such a grumpy monkey. Let's get this just right. Why is he such a grumpy monkey? You gotta get this right so that you don't see such a reflection on the book. Maybe that's better. That looks like it might be better. So you don't see so much glare on the book. Grumpy Monkey by Suzanne Lang. Lots of orange. Is orange a grumpy color? Illustrated by Max Lang. Maybe he's grumpy because that mosquito bit him. That makes me grumpy. One wonderful day, chimpanzee woke to discover that nothing was right. The sun was too bright, the sky was too blue, and the bananas were too sweet. Jim was confused. What's going on? Hmm, maybe you're grumpy, suggested Norman from next door. I'm not grumpy. On his walk, he met Marabou. Jim's grumpy, Norman told Marabou. Why are you grumpy, Jim? asked Marabou. It's such a wonderful day. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. But look how you're standing, Marabou said. It's true, said Norman. You're all hunched. So Jim loosened up. Maybe we should all loosen up. Everybody shake. Then he ran into Lemur. Jim's grumpy, Norman told Lemur. Why are you grumpy, Jim? Asked Lemur. It's such a wonderful day. Grumpy? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. Your eyebrows look grumpy, said Lemur. It's true, said Norman. They're all bunched up. So Jim raised his brow. Ooh, Trevor's really good at raising his eyebrows. Then he tripped over Snake. Oh no, said Norman. That's the last thing you need when you're feeling grumpy. Me, grumpy? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. Then why that frown, said Snake. I think it's because he tripped over you, Norman whispered to Snake. So Jim put on a smile. Does that look like a real smile? Finally, Jim looked happy, but he didn't feel happy inside. Everyone wanted Jim to enjoy this beautiful day. You should sing with us, said the birds. Jim didn't feel like singing. You should swing with us, said the monkeys. Jim didn't feel like swinging either. You should roll with us, said the zebras. Jim didn't feel like rolling. You should stroll with us, said the peacocks. Jim didn't feel like strolling. You should lie in the grass. You should stomp your feet. You should take a bath and make a splash. You should hug someone. You should laugh. You should take a nap. You should eat old meat or some honey. You should jump up and down. You should sit in the sun. You should dance. But Jim didn't feel like doing any of that. Why are you grumpy, Jim? asked the others. It's such a wonderful day. I'm not grumpy and he stormed off.
Jim felt sorry. A little sorry for shouting at everyone, but mostly sorry for himself. I guess I am grumpy, Jim sighed. And just as he was starting to feel really sad, he came upon Norman. Norman was slumped. His eyebrows were bunched up and he was frowning. What's the matter? Are you grumpy? asked Jim. No, I danced with porcupine, said Norman. Ow, look what's in his bottom. Are you okay, said Jim? It hurts, but we'll probably feel better soon enough, said Norman. Are you still grumpy? Yes, said Jim, but I'll probably feel better soon enough too. For now, I need to be grumpy. It's a wonderful day to be grumpy, said Norman. And Jim agreed. And he already felt a little bit better.